Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Gran Turismo Sport. That is right, we are doing something a little bit different for this video. So let me just explain. Last night I was kind of just chilling around. I was just, you know, getting quite late at night, early hours of the morning. And I thought, Do you know what? I've not been around onto GT Sport for quite a while, in terms of online at least. Now, the last time I actually jumped into a sport mode race on this game was just before the release of GT7, I believe in around about February um, of 2022, kind of in the run-up to GT7's release. Um, so since then, it's kind of been dormant for me. It's not something I've tested out, but I just had the thought of going ahead, jumping in, and seeing what it was like in 2023. Are there people still playing it? What are the lobbies like? Are they clean? Is there a bunch of new players there? Or, you know, is it just fully the hardcore fans of GT Sport that are still around? And to my surprise, there is still a nice mix of players. Now, if you didn't know, there's a few key differences now between GT Sport as it was in its prime and how it's run now. So the races we get, we actually get them updated on a monthly basis, which I believe is due to change any minute soon. And uh, currently we do have the kind of one make, we have the Group 4s, which is the race you are going to see today um, that I ran, I believe, up to about five lobbies in. Um, but I'm going to show you one of the most enjoyable races I had. And then we do have a Group 3 race at the, uh, I believe, the Nordschleife currently on the go. So, yeah, it runs a bit different to what GT7 is like, which is weekly. Um, it's currently monthly for GT Sport. But I thought I'd jump in, see what it's like, and just try and get used to the game once again. Now, it really does feel quite different from gt7 uh, but there certainly is still the, you know the typical things of meta cars and such like that so let's jump in and kind of discuss what it's like online in 2023 is it worth your time is there still people playing well let's go ahead and discuss whilst we look at my most recent lobby so first up we did some qualifying now our best lap time ended up being a 203.269 around about a second off of the fastest lap currently um, now a couple of things to know and this is a pretty fun thing so when gt7 released they actually took the rank that you were from gt sport and carried it over now if you've moved up or down rank since then if you enter gt sport you will actually still be the rank that you was um, upon kind of changing over those games so for me personally i'm a bs in gt sport but i'm an as um, almost into the a plus s in gt7 it's uh, really quite weird so it doesn't transfer back so if you kind of notice that your rank's a bit different if you're going back now and such and you've kind of moved up or down in gt7 um yeah it doesn't kind of coexist um, it was only for initially kind of uh, I guess getting you into sport mode within GT7 um, qualifying still works the same so obviously you sit, set your typical laps and such um, in terms of the car's feelings it's definitely a little more light um, in terms of the handling within GT Sport it feels I guess strangely enough a bit more I guess arcadey I know GT7 is only a simk game um, but it definitely feels a bit more onto the arcadey side um, over GT7 um, in terms of how GT Sport feels and such one thing to note is track limits almost feel non-existent now I'm not sure if they've kind of updated the track limits for Lake Maggiore um, in GT7 to be quite honest after playing this it really does kind of send your head around a little bit um, but it almost felt like in GT Sport there was pretty much non-existent track limits you can really really run these curbs and I mean to the point where you're almost cutting out some of the corners it's uh, rather quite bizarre how much you feel you can get away with um, so yeah obviously overall the game still feels great graphically it doesn't hold up half as well as GT7 there's a lot more blur to it and um, there's just a lot less detail around the tracks but overall it still looks good it still plays good but it certainly does feel rather quite different to what we currently have in GT7 especially after the physics update so I'm going to show you my most recent lobby because I think this will just give you a good idea. So I was playing late into last night into the early hours of this morning and it was still filling up on average about 10 players per lobby and it's the exact same um, early in the kind of early I guess morning uh, so around about 7.30 to 8am for me um, this morning was this lobby and it's pretty typical that you will end up with around about 10 cars I think the least I've had was 9 but on average I'm getting 9 in terms of your ranking it really isn't you know that important or crucial because there's less players you will kind of see anywhere from sort of de-ranking 
up to A plus in your lobby. Um, so yeah, it really doesn't matter too much what rank you are. It's quite, you know, a lot more mixed than what you'd see currently within GT7. So we jumped in what is the meta car currently, which is the Sirocco Group 4 front, front wheel drive. It does seem that most of the cars that people are picking um, for this late Maggiore track is definitely going to be the front wheel drive cars. I remember them being very, very dominant back kind of when it was in the prime of GT Sport. And yeah, nothing's changed. Obviously, it's still the same now. Sirocco seems to be king. Audi TT seems to do well, as well as the Megane. Uh, they're all very good performing cars around here. Now, essentially on the opening lap, I'm just trying to find my feet once again. So this was my first race of kind of since waking up. I did do a few last night, like I said. Um, but certainly it's kind of weird. You expect the cars to feel heavier, but again, because of the different physics and such now, they feel very much lighter in GT Sport. You can really, really throw these cars around. And like I said, couple that with being able to run some pretty, you know, I guess sketchy lines through corners and getting away with it. Um, yeah, you can pretty much get away with a lot in this game, realistically, that you probably wouldn't be able to um, in GT7. So as you can see, we're just going to hold our position mostly for this race that is going to start coming alive at the end. In terms of this event, this is the daily race B, so it's a typical sprint. Um, it's a free lap race, no fuel, no tyre wear, anything like that. So it's all just kind of in good fun. Now, this does seem like a quite a popular race. Um, currently, there is a lot of people, uh, different players that you're kind of getting in and out with. Uh, but you also will notice quite a few returning faces, and that's something that I'd say is quite common. Obviously, there, there is less players, I guess, matchmaking for this game, hence why the uh, kind of skill rank gets mixed so much. So you may have a D driver that may be way back from, you know, the the, uh, the higher up standard, um, whereas you might get your kind of A, even B rankers and, and A plus rankers all kind of battling it out, you know, towards the front and such. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I really did have some good races. Um, the couple that I did last night, I noticed were a bit dirtier, a bit more on the, the you know, kind of sketchy side of things. So the driving standards, to be quite honest, from the usual that I'm used to in GT7 is possibly a little bit worse. It just seems that people, I guess, get a bit overconfident and they'll kind of just go for moves that realistically you should realistically know they're not on but they'll kind of just pop it up the inside they're not really bothered if they kind of make contact or not i did notice a lot of that going off throughout the grids so this ended up probably being the cleanest race of the bunch um in terms of just the the driving standard there was no any ridiculous moves i think to be honest if i'd have shown you the ones that i did last night yeah it had been mostly footage of people just bombing up the inside of each other um so in terms of the driving standards they are there it's i'd just honestly say the standard isn't as i guess high as what it may be in those high rank lobbies of, of gt7 uh, currently but obviously like i said you are getting a much more kind of mixed skill pool so obviously if it seems to be more dependent on the safety ranking than it actually does the driver ranking currently so you're mainly always getting with s drivers but then you've kind of got to worry about what kind of moves are these you know possibly slower drivers going to do if they're kind of you know up there or running in your slip and stuff um so i have noticed that that's probably not as high as gt7 currently but overall, I honestly am finding that I'm having fun with GT Sport. If someone asked me for the price that you'd typically pay for this game um, in 2023, is it a complete game? I would 100% say yes. So when GT Sport came out, I played a ton of it. Absolutely binged this game before it died off fairly quickly. Um, I did come back sort of when the single player stuff came around, but again, it just seemed to die off very, very quickly. Um, for me, I have come back multiple times over the years. Um, and, but, you know, in terms of after, you know, kind of getting where I'm at with GT7 and, and playing so much of that, it did actually feel quite refreshing. You know, you wouldn't pay much for this game today. There is a ton of single player content. There's kind of not as many cars as GT7. Obviously, they're even older models than what we have in GT7, uh, funnily enough. Um, but, yeah, overall, the experience is well worth the price that you'd pay for GT Sport in 2023. Um, it really is quite a complete game. The online, you know, community is still rather quite healthy um, as long as you can kind of tolerate running the same track for a month then you know you're probably going to have quite a bit of fun do i think i will play this you know constantly over a month for just the online 
Probably not, but I think if I maybe did a couple of, you know, races a week or such and then kind of went up for the single player stuff, this would certainly be a much, you know, I guess better time for me personally. It's not something I'd want to just constantly binge, like I said, with kind of how the lobbies can be. Um, yeah, it's probably not as high as standard as GT7, which I know sounds pretty crazy. Um, but overall, it is a fantastic product and I honestly am having a blast kind of going back. Do I think I'll go back on a more regular basis to the online? lobbies i think so after kind of just going back the once i certainly think you know if i ever get kind of get fed up with gt7 and just kind of want a bit of a different vibe and something that i don't have to take as serious then gt sports kind of there now look this is the older game this is kind of i guess defunct now in comparison to gran turismo 7 so yeah i don't have to sit there and take it as seriously i don't have to really worry about absolutely everything when i'm driving and such you can just kind of chill back you know have a bit more kind of fun with it than taking it completely serious you know like i said the ranking it doesn't necessarily carry over um from kind of gt7 back to gt sport or vice versa now and um, it was only the original time that you jumped on that that really uh, kind of made any sense so yeah it's definitely a different vibe the community is still rather quite healthy like i said you may see some similar faces but i would say for in 2023 with this game being what six years old this year um maybe even more than that I, i'm pretty sure it's 2017 end of 2017 it released um you know overall it is still a fun game you know is it quite up to par with what we currently have within gt7 honestly no i think a lot of people do kind of play it with nostalgia goggles on um but you know overall it is still a good time and i fully recommend checking it out if you haven't already there we go that is one of my races complete um, like I said, it was much more of a cleaner lobby. Um, it was kind of just, you know, trying to do what I'd usually do in GT7 over into GT Sport. It won't necessarily always work. Um, like I said, the lobby, the, the kind of driving standards can get a bit messy at times. Um, but overall, it was still fun. I'm still enjoying it. And I definitely think I will constantly, you know, go back maybe once a week just to kind of have fun and mess around with it because it's definitely something you don't have to take as serious. So as you can see, we managed to get a P2 in that lobby. Um, we did get second, obviously, and we raised two positions. We got a clean race bonus. Now, this is something I do like, the consecutive clean races. Uh, I'm pretty sure I've not seen that in GT7, um, at, at least recently anyway. Um, I do like that. It kind of keeps track of your clean races. And, you know, it does kind of give you an incentive to actually race clean um, unless you just don't want to obviously <laughs> but yeah so overall online for gt sport in 2023 is still there there is still a player base there it's not updated as regular but if you just want to have a bit of dumb fun and maybe take something a little less serious than what you would in gt7 then gt sport is still very much worth your time there's a community out there there's people playing this every day and you won't struggle to find a lobby so thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I just thought I'd do something a little bit different for this video. Um, I was having a ton of fun. I just thought, do you know what? I would go ahead and just make a video about it and just discuss what the game's like in 2023. I'll have my Twitter, my Discord, and my donation link down in the description down below. Big thank you to my sponsors, Poggers, and the controller people, as well as my channel members. You guys are absolutely awesome. I will see you all later on. Have a fantastic day, guys. Peace.